Good morning. My name is Bob Colby and this is my wife Judy and we'd like to welcome you this morning to the Bracebridge United Church virtual church service. And this is the fourth Sunday of Advent and it is also the, the service of lessons and carols. Judy? Bob and I moved to Bracebridge in 2004 and we uh, came to Bracebridge United Church on the Christmas Eve service and that was 16 years ago. Um, we later joined the Bracebridge United Church and have served on various committees. Bob has been with the Old Time Gospel Band for the past 16 years. Now I ask you to sit back and enjoy the service and sing along with the wonderful hymns of the Christmas season. Merry Christmas! glad you've joined us on this fourth Sunday of Advent. A thank you to Bob and Judy Kobe for those warm words of welcome and to Mary Ruth and Judith for that beautiful prelude. We're glad that you've joined us on this Sunday of love. A quick announcement to remind you about in case you haven't already heard on Christmas Eve from 4 until 7 
at Muskoka Highlands Golf Club at 1036 South Monk Road, we will be hosting our Living Nativity. And it's a drive through event, it's COVID safe. So if you are interested in being the living part of the Living Nativity, please let me know. And otherwise, I hope that we'll see you driving by on Christmas Eve. We will also, of course, be having a virtual Christmas Eve service, which will feature communion. So you can also join us for that time online. The season of Advent is a time of waiting for the fullness of God to be revealed in the birth of Jesus the Christ. We light the candles of the Advent wreath as a sign that God's kingdom is coming into the world. So far we have lit the candle of hope, remembering the hope which comes in Christ, the candle of peace, remembering God's dream of a peaceful world, the candle of joy, rejoicing in the good news that comes with justice, and this week we light the candle of love. Scripture tells us there is no fear in love, for perfect love casts out fear. God created this world in love. God's love pervades all of all aspects of our life, from birth to death, from pain to delight, from strangers to lovers. God's love is there. When we accept God's love and seek to share it with others, Christ comes into the world once again. We may be willing to wait for a lot of things, but we will not wait for a chance to share love. The world needs love. We need love. So today we light the candle of love to remind us to spread love wherever we go. May we be courageous enough to love our neighbors as ourselves. Please join us in the singing of our opening hymn, Come Thou Long Expected Jesus. Voices United, number two. First lesson, Christ's birth is foretold by Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2, 6, and 7. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this.
The second lesson, the peace that Christ will bring is foreshown from Isaiah chapter 11, one to nine. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse and a branch shall grow out of his roots and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth and the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. And righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins, and faithfulness the girdle of his reins. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. And the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. And the suckling child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his head on the cockatrice den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. The third lesson, the angel Gabriel greets Mary. Luke 1, 26 to 38. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation should this be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, 
thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also, that thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold thy cousin Elizabeth, who has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. lesson, the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 to 23. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. 
and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. As the shepherds watched at night in the fields near Bethlehem, there they saw a wondrous light o'er the fields near Bethlehem. Angels singing Gloria in excelsis Deo. Hear the echoes ring as the angels sing Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deo. In excelsis Deo. Then the shepherds, filled with joy, straightway went to Bethlehem, looking for the holy boy born for all in Bethlehem. Angels singing glory in excelsis Deo. Hear the echoes ring as the angels sing glory in excelsis Deo. In excelsis Deo. When they found him all amazed, manger laid in Bethlehem, joined the angels in their praise to the babe of Bethlehem. Angels singing glory in excelsis Deo. Hear the echoes ring as the angels sing Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deo, in excelsis Deo. Still today the echoes ring as they rang in Bethlehem. Peace to men on earth we sing as they sang in Bethlehem. Angels sing in glory in excelsis Deo. Hear the echoes ring as the angels sing glory in excelsis Deo. The fifth lesson, the shepherds go to the manger, reading from Luke 2, verses 8 to 16. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger.
star to Bethlehem. Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 to 11. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when you have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, 
and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where their young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come to the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasure, they presented him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The seventh lesson, the word became flesh. John chapter one, verses one to 14. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of man, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not the light, but was sent to bear witness of the light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. 
but as many as received him, to them gave his power to become the Son of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The glory was of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth.
Wise Man on the Way! I want to thank you for the many ways you have been generous to our church, to our community, through your offerings. We're so grateful for the ways that you've shared. We know that this is a difficult time for many people, and yet we have been able to count on you for your support, and we are thankful. <clears throat> May this season of Advent continue to bless you in many ways, as it is blessing us here at Bracebridge United Church. Now let's take time to pray together. Will you pray with me? <clears throat> Blessed God, in this Advent season, we bring with joy our prayers of thanksgiving, that we need not live within the limits of our own vision, that you invite us, as you did Mary, to be caught up in the sweep of your vision for goodness and love to be born into the world. We offer our prayers of thanksgiving that for even a little while, the world seems to consider that it is more blessed to give than to receive. We offer prayers of thanksgiving for opportunities to be with family, even if that is through the wonder of the internet or Zoom or telephone conversations. Holy One, you are mystery and joy, wonder and awe. Hear our prayer during this season of expectation for all those families who are preparing for birth and for the precious life of the children given to us to nurture and raise. We open our hands to you, O God. Where we have concerns, we pray for an openness to recognize the angels that are calling us to be bearers of your love into the world. We remember in prayer those who are grieving, suffering the pain of reworking lives after a loved one is gone. 
We remember those burdened by work and demands that drain energy and time to the limit. We pray in particular for those in our hospitals who are working to care under the strain of additional needs because of the COVID virus. We pray, O oh God, for those who greet this holiday season fighting addictions that make each day a struggle and for those plagued by mental illness so that life is met with fear or depression. We pray for those who are ill and their loved ones who surround them and care for them. And for those who are hungry for food, hungry for wholeness, hungry for meaning. God of mercy, as Mary prayed so many years ago, we pray too with you O oh God, nothing is impossible. Do unto us according to your word. And as we might turn to you as to our mother who loves us, we say together the words of our Lord's prayer, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
Well, I want to say a big thank you to our choir and our musicians, to Mary Ruth, for offering us that beautiful service of lessons and carols on this fourth Sunday of Advent. Be people of love. Let love live in your heart and share the love of Christ with all you meet. Share love by loving those you see regularly. Start by loving your community. Share love by loving those you don't even know all that well. Share love by praying for our world. In this Advent season, we need to see, feel, and share love. As you go out into the wonder of God's creations, share love, joy, peace, and hope with all those you meet. Amen.